Uh, there are those among us who believe that the G20 has a raison d'etre that goes beyond the financial crisis and that it could prove to be, if it were uh, able to do so, it could prove to be a global steering committee rather than a crisis management uh, forum, which is what it is up until now. In order to do that, it requires partly to be institutionalized, it requires partly to have an agenda of issues beyond the financial crisis itself, issues which are either deadlocked at the global <coughs> negotiating level in other international organizations, uh, such as the UN and the climate change negotiations and Doha and other things, disarmament. Um, and the question really relates, I think, from the perspective of a country like Mexico, uh, if you compare it to the country, uh, to a country like the United States. I was very, it was very clear from what uh, the, uh, the Deputy Assistant Secretary said that the U.S. Uh, doesn't have much interest at this particular point in time in having the G20 go beyond what it is doing. But that's because I would suspect that the United States is going to be a member of the G0, the G10, the G8, the G7, the G20, and whatever else there happen to be uh, in the coming years, while as a country like Mexico is in the G20 and would probably not be uh, in other types of smaller groupings relating to economic size or political weight in the world. And so therefore, I think for Mexico, it is important for the G20 to, to not only to exist, but to continue. Uh, and the ability of the G20 to become more relevant to public opinion uh, is, I think, one of its greatest challenges going forward.